Hey guys, this is Mr. Post, and on today's video, we'll be looking at writing chemical symbols. In order to write chemical symbols, we need to take a review, a step back to what we learned a day or so ago. We're going to first look at today atomic number. And once again, we learned the other day that the atomic number is really the number of protons that are in the nucleus. So every element is unique in the fact that every element has a different number of protons. And that's how you identify what a pro an, uh, an atom, or an element rather, is. You look at the number of protons they have. And the number of protons they have also corresponds to the number they are in the periodic table. So what their number is in the periodic table. So carbon on the periodic table is number 6. Oxygen on the periodic table is number 8. And that means carbon has 6 protons and oxygen has eight protons. So once again, atomic number is coming into play today again, and it is the number of protons that are in the nucleus of the atom. Now something kind of new for some of us, but maybe uh, we've also learned in the past perhaps, was mass number. The mass number is another way of saying what is the mass of the atom. The mass of the atom is made up of protons and neutrons. And if I add them up, that's the mass. All right. So the mass, I want to stress to you, the mass comes from what is located in the nucleus. All right. Matter is made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. We're not counting electrons here because if you check out the third bullet, electrons weigh about one two thousandth that of a proton or neutron. So we're discussing this slide. This slide is about mass, the mass of the atom. We're not going to take our electrons into account because they weigh so little. So the mass of the atom comes from the weight of the protons plus the neutrons. This is an example of a chemical symbol. Uh, this is how we uh, universally write information about the atom and information about our elements down. And it's set up in a specific way so that anyone who looks at this who's a scientist would understand what we're talking about. Okay, so you see a 12 here, you see a 6, and you see C. Well, C stands for carbon. Okay, that's pretty easy. We get that from looking at the periodic table. C is for, from carbon. Okay, the 6. On a chemical symbol, the 6 is my atomic number. It's also known as the number of protons. And lastly, here we go. What is this? What is the 12? Okay, the 12 does not come from the periodic table. The 12 is a combination of my protons and neutrons. The 12 is, as the previous slide said, 12 is the mass of my carbon atom. All right? This atom has a mass of 12 atomic mass units. That's my protons added up to my neutrons. So really, if I want to ask you a question about this, a question I, I could ask you is how many neutrons does this atom have? And you have to take a second to think about this. 12 is my mass number equals protons and neutrons. 6 is the number of protons, and if you subtract out the 6 protons from my protons plus neutrons, you should find out that this atom has 6 neutrons. It does have 6 protons also, and the element is carbon. How come it's carbon? Because any element with 6 protons is carbon. And that's kind of how we write a chemical symbol. And so for the rest of today, I'm going to be asking you to write symbols just like this. And express your information about the atoms in this manner. I'll be referring to this periodic table in between slides and to refer to slides. So in this case, we just expressed carbon. There's carbon right there in the periodic table. It's element number six. And I want to say that six is simply the number of protons in that element. I also write protons as P with a little plus there as well. And that also, just so you know, sulfur would have 16 protons, selenium would have 34. And all those atomic numbers are simply the number of protons in the nucleus of that element. Okay, let's write a chemical symbol here. Okay, I'm telling you in the nucleus, the number of protons is 16. The number of neutrons is 16 as well. So here we go. I do know in writing from the previous slide that the my answer is going to have this kind of appearance, a number over another number followed by an element symbol. Okay? The element in this case is element number 16. All right? The number of protons defines what element it is. Well, the bottom number we said before was the atomic number. 
The atomic number is 16. Okay, element number 16, let's go there. Here it is, element number 16, element number 16 is sulfur. So now we're gonna go back and write down that this was sulfur. Lastly, what is my mass number? The mass number is the top number. The mass number was a combination of protons plus neutrons. So 16 plus 16 gives me 32 particles of the nucleus, and so my mass number is 32. So what is the chemical symbol for something that has 16 protons and 16 neutrons? It's going to be 32 over 16 sulfur. What is the chemical symbol for this uh, element? This element has 14 protons in the nucleus. This is my protons. It has 14 neutrons. So what is my chemical symbol? Maybe you want to press pause while I do this problem. Okay. I'm looking for a top number and a bottom number. The bottom number is the number of protons. The number of protons in this case is 14 protons. The element that is element number 14, let's go in this case, let's go back up here. Here is number 14 right here. It's silicon, SI. Wrong direction. Okay, so my element is SI. And the mass number, the mass number is the combination of my 14 protons plus my 14 neutrons and it gives me a mass number of 28. Okay, on the outside, in case you're wondering, these are all my negatively charged electrons, and electrons are not counted when we're looking at the mass of the atom. Okay, here's our chemical symbol. Can we go in reverse now? Can we break it apart? Let's do it. All right, how many protons, neutrons, and electrons are there? Well, I do know that 6 down here, 6 actually is the number of protons I have, so I have 6 protons. Because I have 6 protons, the element is carbon. Well, this number up here, 13, as I said before, this 13 was protons plus my neutrons. And so if I subtract out 13 from the 6 protons, I end up with 7 neutrons. I got 7 neutrons, and because there's no charge, and we haven't really expressed this yet, but the charge of the element, whether plus or minus, is written over here. That's where it's written. Since there's no charge, we assume there's a zero charge. If there's a zero charge, that means I have six protons, six positives. I also need six negative electrons to balance that out, and I have a zero charge. The number of electrons is not zero. The number of electrons is six. I have six negative charges balancing my six positive charges. Okay, let's go back to this now. Writing the chemical symbol for the element with seven protons and eight neutrons. If you want to press pause, go for it. Otherwise, I'm going to attack this problem. Let's go. I have seven protons. Seven is my atomic number. I have eight neutrons. And when I add the two up, I have 15 as my mass. All right, so 15 is my mass number. And the question now is what element am I dealing with? Let's go to our periodic table of elements. And I think that was element number seven. Element number seven is nitrogen. Here we go. Element number seven is nitrogen. Fantastic. That is my chemical symbol. That's actually pretty easy. It's no big deal. Checking this out now. Writing the chemical symbol for uh, the element that has one proton and two neutrons. Okay, let's start off. The atomic number is the number of protons, and I have one proton. So my bottom left number is 1. The element that is element number 1 is going to be up here in the upper left-hand corner, hydrogen. So element number 1 is hydrogen. And what is the mass of this atom? Well, the mass of this atom is going to be a combination of my one proton plus my two neutrons. So it's going to have a mass of 3. And guys, that's where we're going to end this little uh, video. We have a little nine minutes on how to write the uh, complete chemical symbol. Once again, just in summary, we're just trying to restate the information that is expressed about the atom. This, once again, in summary, is my mass number. That's my mass number. It's simply a combination of protons plus neutrons. On the bottom, this is my atomic number. It's another way of saying the number of protons. So this is my atomic number. Also, this is my number of protons in the nucleus of that element. Okay, lastly, how did I come up with my letter H right here? The element that has one proton on the periodic table is hydrogen. And that's it for today, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. And if you enjoyed the video,
please give me some feedback. Thanks a lot.